Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a NPC medic. And this is loosely based on the Unreal Editor documentation that they just put out on creating an NPC medic. I actually tried to do this one, but was running into some errors with it. And I thought it was very sophisticated and kind of complicated, actually. I decided I'd just start with a base version of this and then just kind of build out from there piece by piece rather than trying to put all this together at one time. So, and I think the simplified version is actually pretty cool. So hopefully you'll feel the same way and find some value in it. To get started, we're just going to go into Unreal Editor. I'm just in a basic island template right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our verse code that's going to be our behavior script for our NPC character. So I'm going to come to the verse explorer. I'm going to click on the, my project, right click, create new verse project. And now we're actually going to create a class here. I'm just call this my NPC script and just go create empty. And nothing pops in over here. It's over here in the verse explorer window. And so if I double click into this, you'll see there is my script, but there's nothing in it. So I have the code already written for this. I've had to do this a few times today already. So like I said, this is a greatly simplified version of it. And so I think this is easier to digest. But let's jump in here and I'm going to go ahead and build that and see if I get any errors. Unfortunately, I don't. And you notice once I do, I'll get a folder that says NPC behavior. So I'm just going to go ahead and click into it. And you can see there's my verse class inside of there. Now I'm just going to right click and go to artificial intelligence. And I'm going to create an NPC character definition. I'll just leave it called that. And then I'm going to click into it. And now when I come in here, you'll see I can dock this up top. You'll see I have a choice of a custom guard or wildlife. And I'm going to go with guard. And instead of default behavior, we're going to choose that verse behavior that we just created. We'll expand this and we'll select our NPC medic right there. And there is that. And then under cosmetic, we can actually choose any one of a number of characters. So I'm just going to choose this Alpine Ace. And believe it or not, that's all we have to do for our character definition. And now I can just drag this onto the scene and there he is. With him still selected in the scene, I can come over here and under where it says NPC behavior override, I can click the NPC medic. So now he's going to be driven off of our code here. And then he also has access to some functionality within the guard spawn as well. That's all we have to do with that. And there's a couple other little things we'll need. I should show you this is these are parameters that we have within our code. And one of them is called healing and one is called max health. So the medic won't be able to help him until his health drops below 50. And once it does, then it'll shoot back up to 100. So that was just some code I added on my own. And now to make this work, we just need a couple devices. So I'm going to go ahead and search for a sentry here. And I'm going to drag him onto the scene. Maybe push him out a little further here, not too far, but a little ways off. There we go, somewhere like that. And then we need a mutator zone, which is going to be our healing volume. And actually, this is going to follow along with our character, which is pretty cool. And we want the zone to be visible, but not the base. And that's really all we need to do. We're pretty much set, believe it or not. That's all we have to do. I do need to click on this character though and come in here and select that mutator zone. Take a look at this code and make our way through some of this. So we have our modules, we have our AI that's required for this. So we have our class. So like I said, we create one variable called healing threshold and this is the value at which our player needs to be below before our NPC medic will help him. Once the character is helped, then the value will go up to 100. And here is an at editable for our mutator. And this is the, the rate at which the, the volume tracks along with the NPC. Here's where things just could get really complicated. So the way the they have it set up here in the verse documentation, they bring in a queue 
like almost like you're running an urgent care center or something but i just felt that that added a layer of difficulty that was just not necessary so i don't have a queue system i dropped the whole queue system and there's a lot of going on with concurrency here that I found very problematic. And then they also had a spawner that I didn't really feel was necessary because when you walk into the mutator zone, you see kind of an effect already. And you're only in there for a little bit anyways. But actually, I was getting an error when I went to compile it with regard to the queue on here. So here on the bottom, if you, you know, you can, maybe your results will vary, but I was getting an error right here on this type and I didn't really understand why. We get into issues with the in the code where we start getting into concurrency because when we ever use a concurrency then we use have to use suspends and then when we use suspends we can't use certain calls, we can't call with agents and it gets everything starts becoming an issue. So so you just kind of have to error your way through it and you know and to see what you can kind of come up with. And that's how this was kind of developed. I kept having issues with trying to update the health at the same time using the same character reference. So I separated them out to two separate functions. One was really a track character and the other one was setting the health because I kept getting into issues with this. So this is pretty much following the code in the, in the beginning here that we have our heel volume here that references a mutator zone. But I created two separate functions here. And one is, like I said, to track the character. So in here, anytime we have the brackets, it's a decide, so it has to be within an if statement. So all of these, that's why all these are in an if statement. But then you can't put a suspense in here because that creates another issue. So when the player hits the, the mutator zone, it sends an agent reference on the subscribe on the bind so that all makes sense to me it needs an agent reference but you can't put suspense on an agent reference call for some reason i don't know why but anyway we've got to go kind of this thing of get the agent and then from the agent get the fort character and then once we get the fort character we can get this navigable and focusable which that allows the npc to kind of always be forward facing at us kind of tracking us so all these things have to be true for this to happen here. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of a difference going on here where the agent to heal is different from this agent. So I look at it more of like this is, it's almost like two separate things, but like this is the agent that got sent in that triggered. And so this is the one that we're referencing here because this is our becomes our target. And this agent, I don't want to say it's a different agent. You'd think it's the same, but it is a difference if you put agent to heal here versus agent. So it just worked out agent to heal, I think of as the target. And then agent is just more of an another going and getting another reference to it. So it's kind of confusing. And then here is we just make another call to set health. And this is basically just get the fort character, get the health. If it's the current health is less than our threshold, then go ahead and set it to max health. Otherwise, no need for health at this time. And here I realized you could put a show HUD message if you wanted to say, hey, come back, you're not sick enough yet. And then this is just the code that allows the NPC to carry along the, the volume with him. And then here it became problematic because the one good thing about spawn is that it allows you to call an asynchronous function without having to set the entire function to suspense. Spawn is real super handy in that regard, but you can only do one call per spawn. So that's why there's two spawns here. But anyway, this does work and it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool, but it's a lot simpler than what was presented initially. I'll go ahead and launch the session and I'll come back and we'll see how well this works. I just wanted to give a quick update. I did do a quick play test and I noticed that the NPC medic was following me and he hadn't been following me before. He had just been kind of going back on his own and so I just moved my spawner away from him and then I also forgot to set the accuracy on the sentry to moderate because when he's set to low it takes a long time for him to actually shoot you. So there comes the sentry in. 
There he is. See, he's see now this is how it should be. He's just doing his guard thing and he's not following me. And that's how it should be. And this is how I would think it would be in real life. You know, the, the why would the medic be following me? There's no reason to follow me. So he's just kind of doing his guard thing. Now I'm going to come over here and get shot. So I can get some damage on me. And I got to get below. And this guy really is a... That's modern? Okay, I'm shot enough. So now see how he's walking around? I want you to notice that. So he's doing the guard thing. Now what will happen is when I go in the volume, he'll stop walking around like that. But then he'll track me no matter where I am in the scene. So that's kind of cool in a way. So he's walking until the first time that I enter the volume. So watch. Look, I got my health. And now look wherever I am, he's tracking me. But now he's not walking around anymore. And I'm pretty sure that's because I haven't really released, I haven't recalled the spawn function or something. But he is tracking me. He's definitely tracking me. So anyway, now if I were to go and get shot again, I could go back and get, get help. But he's not, he's no longer moving from that location. So anyway, that's just kind of a basic NPC. I hope you found this helpful. Take care. There's a lot There's a lot involved with the code in that particular example. So I hope this makes it a little bit better.